Screw for Denmark. Sex campaign produces baby boom in months. Why wouldn't I cover this story? Oh, I want to go to Denmark. The racy ad campaign started only nine months ago, but recently hit the spot, oh my god, for Denmark's campaign for more baby making. The country now expects a booming both rates this summer. According to research by Denmark's Pol Polykeen newspaper, the summer months of June to August this year will produce 1,200 more Danes than last summer. In total, some 16,200 babies are due to be born. I've never experienced a boom like this in my lifetime as a midwife, said Anne Foskat, Foskat who's been on the job 33 years. Normally there are more births due to summer compared to winter, but an increase like this is crazy. It all started with a cute appeals by spies travel to give the world more babies and do it for mum which gave quite the good data on how people tend to get groovier during seasonal vacations as opposed to alpine hike. And yes, we do have the ad, don't worry, we will play it. The sad Danish grandmother who anxiously unhooks her own daughter's bra as she's about to get down with her boyfriend, what, is made happy. Even the stereotypical creepy introvert online gamer guy gets some at the end. After the guilt card ad, the capital emerged with its own campaign. The city of Copenhagen took a middly more serious approach, saying you won't be fertile forever, and the broadcaster's DR hopped aboard the baby-making wagon with the abrupt name Screwed for Denmark campaign. You probably can't ascribe the increase in births to our campaign, but it's definitely a feather in our cup if the campaign has had a positive effect. Copenhagen's Deputy Mayor for Health, Nina Thomas, told TV2 Tonight, uh, news, sorry, adding that she was actually surprised to begin with that so many campaigns for the procreation emerged at once. Denmark is one of those societies where people like to have fun and really enjoy life. The problem is, they like to have kids late in life, too, according to the campaigns. But the efforts are paying off. Danes will have an average 14% more offsprings this summer than last, according to Copost, and according to Denmark Statistics. The official national statistics of Bureau, a thousand more babies were born in the first quarter of this year, compared to the same period in 2015. The annual birth rate could top 60,000 for the first time in six years if Danes continue feeling frisky. The last bad year for Denmark was 2013, with 4,000 less births than that, which is the lowest figure since 1987. Things were flop since 2010, when the average age for first-time parents was 29.1, and the full five years more than this 1970s average. The ad campaign joins a host of other groovy measures to get things back on track, such as introducing changes to the school sex ed curriculum, as well as chorusing parents to pleading to have more sex so that there's enough children to fill the schools. Some success was achieved in Jutland, with pregnancies up by a whole third in 2015, according to local hospitals cited by the local. It was shocked to residents whose public offices said they were considered backing out of the measure. This was in the midst of increasing numbers of asylum seekers arriving by sea. So guys, we do have that ad. We will play that now for you just because of the fact that it's priceless and it is really worthwhile watching. And then we'll have a quick chat about it. So, roll the ad. Kan sex redde Danmarks fremtid? Danmark har et problem. Fødselsraten er den laveste i 27 år, og der fødes ikke nok børn til at forsørge den aldrende befolkning. Skiftende regeringer har ikke kunne løse problemet, men der må være en løsning. Her er Emma. Hun er dansker, men selvom hun er født og opvokset i Danmark, er hun undfanget i Paris. Lige deroppe på det der hotelværelse. For 30 år siden tog Emmas forældre en lille sviptur. Hvis vægge kunne tale. Men det viser sig, at Emmas historie ikke er så enestående. 10 procent af alle danske børn er undfanget på en ferie. At rejse 
og få nye oplevelser. Det påvirker parforholdet, fordi de får overskud til at se og opleve hinanden på ny. Det frigør endorfiner i hjernen, og så får folk lyst til sex. Det får vi børn af. Faktisk har danskerne 46 procent mere sex på ferier sammenlignet med hverdagen. Så for at hjælpe den faldende danske fødselsrate, vi spis opfordrer alle danskere til at tage på en romantisk storbyferie. Det hjælper selvfølgelig også lidt på vores fremtidige forretning. Men er det ikke motivation nok at gøre det for Danmark, så har vi lavet en lille konkurrence. Book din rejse med vores ægløsningsrabat. Fyr den af. Bevis du har undfanget barn og vind tre års forbrug af babyudstyr og en børnevenlig ferie. Men hvad nu, hvis du allerede har gjort din pligt? Eller hvis chancerne for en undfangelse ikke er særlig høje, jamen så se på det sådan her. Det handler ikke kun om at vinde, det handler om at være med. Deltag i konkurrencen. Do it for Denmark. So, what do I think about all this? Well, we know the birth rates are declining for the white race. So, yeah, I'm kind of supporting this ad. In fact, if Denmark wants, I will fly over there myself and help out. But guys, I don't know. That, I think this is a really good idea. And I think it's something that the rest of the world should adopt. Instead of going through a mass migration, why don't we just encourage people to have more sex? I'm all up for that. I can never have enough. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you support having more sex? Do you support mass migration? Why on those two topics? Let us know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'm going to go and find out how much flights are to Denmark. Have a great day and enjoy.